Yes, so let's find out where we are now with the Conor Ben fiasco. Well, following the news of the Eubank fight being resurfaced, a date in the calendar and terms agreed. Let's look at the finer details and ask the most important question on everyone's lips, which is... Why the fuck would anyone pay for a beard transplant? No, I'm joking, we need to ask where does Connor now stand after all this time? And of course, will the Eubank fight actually happen? Let's have a little butchers, here we go. So the biggest boxing story of 2022 was Connor Ben failing a drug test in the run-up to the Eubank fight. The months following was a calamity of more damning details emerging and a desperate struggle to clear his name. Now, if you have been living under a rock, well, long story short, he failed a test, said he's innocent, relinquished his licence, told the board to do one, then the WBC cleared him because they said he was eating about a thousand fucking an eggs a day. Then he said, nah, bruv, it weren't eggs, honestly, but still accepted he'd been cleared. Then the Board of Control grew some balls and suspended him, sort of, but he's still fighting it legally, and here we are. Now, we'll come back to Ben being able to clear his name in a minute, but we seem to have come full circle, as Edward has confirmed that the Eubank fight is agreed once again and is likely to take place in September. Terms have been agreed. Abu Dhabi is on hold to stage it, though he hopes it'll be in the UK. Now, forgetting the moral implications of this fight going ahead, let's first look at if this fight can actually happen. Now, as we know, on the 26th of October, young Benny Boy relinquished his British licence, and on the 15th of March, UCAT issued a statement saying Ben was suspended. But what does suspended actually mean? Well, it means that he is prohibited from participating in a competition event or activity that is recognised by the British Boxing Board of Control or any other World Anti-Doping Code of Compliance sport. Or if you would like me to simplify that for you even more, it means if he wants to fight in the UK, he's fucked. He can do the old H's or a route and get another board to sanction it, for instance Luxembourg was used in this fight, but Eddie said after the first collapse he wouldn't do that. So in order to box in Britain with UCAD testing, he must first have a licence through the board. However, UCAD are attached to pretty much every major UK boxing event, meaning that even with a licence, their attachment to a major event such as Eubank Ben will prohibit Ben from fighting. End of discussion. So what about abroad, you may ask? Well, yes, Eddie has floated the idea of Abu Dhabi, but can the fight still take place there? Well, yes, it can. However, it will be down to the Dubai Boxing Commission to allow the fight to go ahead, and this commission aren't any pushovers. Just last December, they cancelled a bout between Lucas Brown and Fury's best mate, Mahmoud Char, because the listed event promoter, Iconic Promotions Dubai, failed to comply with basic standards. It would also probably be fair to say that the promoters of the Eubank Ben fight have also failed to comply with basic standards since Ben has failed a drug test through VADA and has not yet proved his innocence. So surely the fight can't happen here either. Well, hold on to your bum fluff, because here's a theory on why it can. Now on February the 20th, Second, Ben was cleared by the WBC through President Maurizio Suleiman. Here he is, there he is, with uh, Danny Boy. So they reinstated him in the rankings. According to them, he was now clear to box. Meanwhile, Abu Dhabi have hosted some major fights of late, including Bivol Ramirez. And of course, Saudi Arabia have hosted some of the biggest in the sport. Most recently, Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. Both these fights, among many others in the Middle East, were commissioned by the Dubai Boxing Commission. But interestingly, whose rules did they adopt for the non world title Paul Fury fight, who works very closely with the Dubai Commission and who has recently formed a Middle East Boxing Council headed up by Amir Khan. Yes, it's none other than the WBC and Maurizio Suleiman, the governing body who have cleared Ben to fight. So it's only a prediction, but that's how it can go ahead. So don't be too surprised to see big Mozzie Suleiman working very closely with the DBC and this fight being sanctioned, regardless of Ben's UCAD suspension. And just for the record, one of the latest fights they sanctioned was Big Baby Miller versus Lucas Brown, two of the biggest drug cheats in recent times, so morals clearly went out the fucking window there. Now what about Ben? Benny Boy, where does he stand now with this legal battle? Well, he is still fighting the case behind closed doors and ultimately does now want to fight in the UK and work with the board regardless of his choice words about them in the past. So to state the obvious, for him to be able to fight Eubank in the UK, he needs to prove his innocence to the board in UK so they can clear him and remove the suspension. But the major problem is, no matter what evidence he provides, the strict liability rule is one that is extremely hard to get around. Although considered hard harsh on some occasions. It states that athletes are solely responsible for what goes in their body. No exceptions. And that is simply that. Outside of boxing, but in the same nature, UFC fighters Chow Son and Brock Lesnar and John Jones all received one and two year bans for the very same drug clomiphene. John Jones said it was contamination like Ben, but it didn't matter. So surely boxing can't have a different stance on this. It makes me think it's extremely unlikely that the British board are going to accept any evidence that exonerates Ben. When he 
himself has even accepted that it was in his system. For me, the only chance of a UK fight is if the board backdate a ban of six months, but I can't see that happening either because the punishments are usually a year or two. So in the words of Fred Flintstone, the British board probably don't allow the Eubank fight to happen, but I reckon Abu Dhabi do. And come on, there's plenty of loopholes outside the WBC that we probably don't even know about. The powers that be definitely do though. So expect a Eubank Ben on your screens very soon, although probably not in the UK. And I've got to be honest, although I agree it's morally wrong, it's terrible for boxing and should never go ahead. Fuck it, I'll be watching. Bosh.